All right, hey Aries, so I'm doing just a quick energy update for your guys' ghosted situations, okay? And you're going to know this is your read by your energy and how you feel about this person. So if you're not connecting with that, you guys check your other placements. And if you're new, welcome. I do hope you subscribe if you like my energy. Um, over on Facebook, you guys, that's where I've been doing the majority of the live readings and putting out my soul transmissions readings and chakra readings and reels and all that other stuff. So if you like me over here, you'll like me over there. All right. So I'm just going to start with your energy. Your energy. It's like you're waiting for a fresh start. Waiting for a fresh start. Reflecting on the past. You got your page of um, coins coming through with death card. Okay. You got your three of wands also coming through. And it shows up in, you know, kind of that sideways um, hint. I just can't help but feel like, you know, as days go by, and I've mentioned this in a couple of other reads, but it does feel like if a lot of time continues to lapse between you and this person that you're connecting with it's like the the maybe even your interest um starts to diminish right maybe they're not coming back you know i don't see it as a fear issue um not quite yet but i also see that you know you understand that change and transformation needs to take place right i feel like you guys are maybe reflecting on the past knowing that hey ugh, it's so exciting to connect with somebody right it's so exciting to connect with somebody new and feel all of these feelings and emotions. But if, um, you know, they, they hang around, okay, especially for those at a distance. So say you guys are, are, you know, countries apart, states apart, right? And you're talking to this person and, and maybe you've seen them once, but, you know, maybe you haven't seen them at all. And it's been a couple of years, uh, several months, you know, when things start to um, change um, or when things start to um what am I trying to say here? It, it's like things are not changing. Like the energy is not progressing. Okay. Um, and so this is a ghosted read. Keep in mind. So there could have been something that led to you guys disconnecting, the ghosting, whatever. Um, I can't help but feel but that there could be some potential distance between you and this person. So it's like not only, um, you know, is is it um, hard to communicate at times, Right. But when we're cut, when we're thrown off by communication and then you, you throw that distance in the mix, that has to be for somebody, you guys. Um, I don't really speak on distance too much in these reads, but I mean, to be ghosted, to be disconnected from somebody and on top of that, be, you know, kind of worlds apart. It sucks, right? I feel like you're in this energy of knowing that something truly does have to change. So even if you're in like in the same town, OK, it's like this. Something has to change. You have not seen change come through this um, connection, through the situation. And at this point, it's like you're, all you're doing is reflecting on what actually does need to change, um, which I don't feel is a bad thing. I don't feel like it's a bad thing. All right. Let's see how you feel about this person. The only thing I'm not pulling for this read, you guys, is I'm not pulling to see what caused the ghosting or this the disconnection. Okay. How you feel about them. We have the page of um, cups coming through. We got the full card. It does show up in the um, reverse and the hermit card also showing up in reverse. It could just be that you have a desire to come out of this. I don't know what's going on phase. Okay. I can't help but feel for some of you guys. You probably dealt with this in and out more than once. Um, you know, you, you connect and then disconnect, connect and then disconnect. Right. Um, how you feel about them, you know, with the full card coming through in reverse, it could be that this person is playing games, you know, um, slightly immature at this point, really, really quiet too, with that hermit energy. And maybe, you know what, you're hoping that they are taking time to reflect on their energy and efforts towards you and the situation. Okay. It's not to say that they don't feel like a soulmate, but I mean, a little more time, effort and energy, hmm? not a bad request, right? Um, it shouldn't be. Okay, so let's see who it is you're dealing with. Who is this person? What is their energy? You got Leo coming through. Leo, you got some... Um, oh gosh, that's Libra right there. All right, so this person... So you got Capricorn, Pisces, um, Libra, and Leo. Um, as far as signs go. Um, but this person's definitely in and out of your life. Okay, so that's another confirmation. I feel like you guys have had your battles. Uh, and they don't have to be big, you know, the, the battles don't have to be big, but if it feels like it's in a, in a dang loop, same old, same old, same old, um, 
I feel like you guys could be really thrown off by that, you know? You got a strength card coming through also, so this person could be going through a lot or they have gone through a lot. Um, you know what I mean? And it could be too that the, t the times for them are more tough and trying, okay? And that could be one of the reasons why they're not able to, um, set, you know, like it's like it, venture on a straight path towards you, okay? And it could be too that you're kind of recognizing and realizing at this point that this person's life is not in order enough um, to even like, you know, hold the capacity of what it takes to make something happen with you. Maybe they're just not into that, that it, they're not into that, um, that, that measure of capacity. You, I'm sure you guys understand exactly what I'm saying, right? Um, there's a lot of stuff going on with them and they can't change. They, they can't do anything, but what can you do? Um, I hope that you guys aren't given money or you haven't given money. Um, especially if they're keeping themselves in a situation that, um, no matter what you do, the times you have helped, whether it's money, words, or advice, um, or, or shelter or whatever, they keep going back to the same old, same old, um, then it just kind of proves that whatever you have tried to help with in the past, it does, it's not a help. Okay. They, they got to fix themselves. Right. Um, but let's see how they feel about you. Heartbroken, heartbroken. Look at that. They're looking, they're probably watching the, the same tarot. I'm probably talking to a cross watcher right now, huh? We got the six of coins coming through. Um, in the upright, that, that is a card of balance. Okay. Um, you also got the king of pentacles. So they're very attracted to your presence and your energy. It could be that this person, um, I'm not going to say they're jealous of you or anything like that. Okay. But it could be that they wonder why things are so easy for you and not for them. Um, but again, it's, it's like kind of like the positions, um, you know, I guess I'll, I'm, I'm a little bit out there because I, I do believe in the, the, we predestine ourselves. We sign, we sign that we, we fill, fill out our soul contract. We put on there what we want to experience. And then when we incarnate, we, it's up to us to start remembering and changing like the old paradigm, right? The old ways of thinking and beliefs. And a lot of people forget that that's why they've um, come here. Um, that's my, my otherworldly um, ways of, of, of being. And, you know, it's like you don't have to have a mansion or a Lamborghini, but you could be content and happy. And they, they look at you quite like, why do you have it so easy? You know what I mean? Um, there, this is the spy card when it comes through in reverse. The page of swords is somebody who is definitely spying. It's also somebody who, um, you know, I'm not going to say that you, they look at you as all talk and no action, but possibly on themselves. Like they know that they're a little bit maybe ashamed or shameful of how they have represented themselves to you. Okay. You also got the three of swords, which is a clear indication of heartbreak, heartache, loss, sadness. Um, it's almost like what I see here is you've tried to do everything you can to help this person, whether it's just words, um, if not physically trying to help them. And, um, they, I feel like they've kind of messed it off a little bit for some reason. So let's just see what this person is saying, feeling, or doing behind your back when it comes to you, um, what they're feeling or talking about when it comes to you and, and how they present you to, um, family members or friends or just their own, um, internal energy. Sometimes we can't talk about these connections, especially if there's, a uh, other parties. Okay. Um, Anyways, so we got the seven of wands. It's like they want this start with you. Um, they, they truly do. Okay. They see you as somebody who, who wants to take action. All right. And you want to forge this new life. I feel like you're on their mind 24 seven. This might be more of a mind, um, you know, situation. Um, if they have a close friend or a relative that they talk, talk to, you know, I can see that they are truly, um, this is where their heart's at. Um, also to probably not enjoying the break so much. And, and I don't feel like you are either, um, or the pause, right. Um, wanting to come out of it, if anything, wanting to heal, wanting to grow together, especially if they, they, uh, have positioned themselves to a situation that they, it's not easily, um, they're not e easily able to get out of. So let's just see if you should wait um, on this person's return. So this is going to be a 30 day return, um, but let's just see if you should wait on, on them to take action towards you. Should you wait on this person to take action towards you? What, so there's your opportunity coming in, you know, especially if this person has pulled back their energy, what I will say, uh, and what I've told the other signs is, you know, um, if they pulled their energy back or they ghosted or they cut contact, then it's going to be on them to come back to you. Right. Um, they're, they're definitely coming back. Okay. They're going to come back. They're going to try to work things out with you. This is the return and this is where we grow and build. Okay. You got that King of Cups energy 
and the nine of coins, you know, um, the king of cups in reverse. Um, I would uh, honestly, you're going to have to listen to your intuition on this um, because when he comes through in reverse, it is somebody who is still emotionally available, um, unavailable, emotionally unavailable, um, emotionally unreceptive, um, you know, and so you could be hoping for change. But if you find yourself in a loop with this person, um, the only way we stop these cycles and these loops is to stop. We can't. We can't participate in their, their BS anymore because I almost feel like you guys might just want to protect your energy a little bit. Not that this person's bad, but I feel like they're going to come through wanting to change because they don't want to lose you, but also um, not changing what you've already been on the receiving end of. So you're going to have to use your intuition, right? Um, so let's just see what the, the next 30 days looks like for you guys upon this return. And it could be, too, that this character right here is just the past and their recognition of the past behavior, okay? We got victory coming through. We got the, I mean, that's a, an onward and upward, okay? You got your eight of coins coming through as actually having the ability to work forward. Uh, figure out a plan. Let's put something together. How are we going to do this? All right, we have the queen of wands also showing up right here, okay? Uh, I can't help but feel like that that is um, this person coming towards you. Like they see maybe even the error of their way when it comes to the past. But I feel like everybody's going to be dealing with a slightly different version of the person that you got going on in your life. Some of you guys could notice change. Some of you guys might not notice much change. Okay. Um, but here's your messenger right here. You got your knight of coins coming through. So that is definitely an indication that this person will return in the next 30 days. All right. Um, and I feel like that is what you want. I really do. So let's just see what happens after you guys. Um, oh, look at that. I like it. So after you guys come together, like where, where is this connection going to stand? We have the five of coins coming through in reverse. And to me, that would just be an indicator of, um, you know, coming out of the zone that you're in. Look at that. The Empress and the Hierophant card are cards of stability and security, okay? So I feel like you can be a little bit comfortable, a little bit more comfortable knowing where this connection is headed, okay? A little bit better off than what you've dealt with. Um, but again, you guys, use your intuition. And if you feel like you're dealing with somebody who's not readily available for you, that's going to tell you um, I'm going to take a step back because you're not ready for all of this, right? MK for initials, JN. And we have FD. I'm leaving it there. You guys take care.